We will be finishing up this panel in this video by creating the background using the brush tools and the paint fill tools. This background won't be anything detailed, so we don't need any digital photo. We'll just make some abstract trees. All right then, let's see how it's done. Now that our character is complete, it's time to begin working on the background. To do this, we'll open up the layer editor. We'll click on the plus button to create a new layer. And then we'll have to put this behind our character. To do this, we'll tap and hold the triple bars to the right of our layer, and then if we move our finger down, we will move the entire layer beneath our character's layer. Then we'll turn off the visibility on our character's layer, so that way we have a clean canvas to work on, and we can create the sketch of our background without our character in it. Our background is going to consist of kind of a forest backdrop, so I'll begin sketching the tree trunks in brown. Notice we're not going to use a black outline for this. This will be quicker, and it'll actually look a little bit better in our final product. When drawing these trunks, it's a really good idea to make sure that they're in closed spaces, because once again, we'll be using the flood fill tool. Especially be careful at the edges of our canvas. You might have to even go back using a pencil or a brush tool and just kind of fill in the top. We can also select the line mode from our style tool on the top toolbar to create straight lines. This can be helpful for trying to enclose a sketch. I'll work on adding some leaves to our trees too. One important effect when making this background is to change the color used for each tree a little bit so that way they look like different trees. It's also a very good idea to do the same technique with the leaves. Now that we've added a couple more trees, our background's looking pretty good. Let's try filling in the groundwork with the fill tool again to add some grass. Alright, now that our background is completed, let's add our character back into the sketch by going to the Layers tab and turning the visibility back on for him. Now you'll notice we'll need to touch up a couple of things, mainly his eyes are currently clear, so we're seeing the background through them. So we'll just change our color to white and recolor his eyes. Our sketch is now complete. In order to save this, you'll want to click on the clutch and then click on the gallery button in the top left. It'll ask you if you want to save it. By all means, push save, and then that'll return you to the gallery. I'll use the same sketching and coloring technique to finish the other remaining panels for our comic book. In the next video, I'll show you how to take these panels then and combine them into a comic strip using Pixlr.